What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with another LEGO Next Nights review, and this time it is on Battle Suit Aaron. This set retails for $9.99 in the United States, and it comes with 80 pieces. On the front of the packaging, we can see that it shows off the Battle Suit for Aaron, along with 5 Nexo Powers and the minifigure. On the back, it just shows off some of the features, however, it mainly focuses on the Nexo powers and the app. Alright, here is Battle Suit Aaron all built up. And first of all, I've gotta say, I really like this battle suit. Now, obviously, he's just like a lot like the other ones. I mean, you've got the standard you know mobility here you've got the kind of swivel function here you've got the standard posability and stuff with the legs and arms you've got all that standard stuff and of course this actually opens up so you can see the minifigure inside however while I have this opened up I am gonna say one quick thing Aaron cannot be st just sitting up straight he's got to be in a leaned back position because here's what's gonna happen if you put him up straight as you can see right here, he, the it's not actually going in fully, and the reason for this is just due to the mask. What you have to do is you have to just push him back, and that way he will go all the way in. Now if you really want him to be up in this straight position, what you could do is you could uh, take him and just remove him, and then kind of like put him sorta in, but I wouldn't say fully, and then it will go in just like that so you can actually have him in there but he won't actually be fully connected so if you would prefer to have him connected then I would I would just definitely suggest you have him leaned back but that's probably my only complaint with this this middle section and it does really contribute to all of the uh, the battle suits there's really isn't too much you can do but otherwise I mean there isn't really too much wrong with this I really like everything that this set has of course you've got the uh, back connection part, which if you've seen my Aaron Stone Destroyer review, I actually showed off the uh, connection with that set and the uh, battle suit. And uh, that, I mean that's pretty much it. Of course you've got the, the weapon here, and this has some posability, I mean you can move this around, but it's also on a mixel ball joint, so you can move it around, just angle it up and down, you know, all the nice stuff. You've actually got a, a, a connection point here. So you can put another one of the uh, the ammunition pieces over here if you want. I do not have it there just because, I, I don't know, I just would prefer to have it open. And I'm going to show off how you fire it. It's very simple. All you have to do is press down and it fires. Alright, taking a look at the brand new shield piece that you get in the battle suit sets along with the kind of uh, Nexo Knight packs, uh, kind of like collections um, that you can get. This is just the new shield, however, Aaron's is just a little bit special. I mean, he's got these two axes along with this bottom part here. And on the back, you've got, of course, the connection, but you've also got this. And what this does is it actually allows Aaron to connect on to the shield. And then you can have him surfing. Alright, taking a look at the Nexo powers, Battlesuit Aaron comes with 5 Nexo powers just like the uh, rest of the Battlesuit sets. And these Nexo powers are as followed from left to right, Orbital Strike, Spirit Fox, Drop the Beat, Incinerate, and Magnetize. Alright, taking a look at the Aaron minifigure in this set, first of all, as you can tell, this is a very different minifigure than some of the other Aarons that you get in the more bigger sets. And this is because this is just a special Aaron Battlesuit minifigure, so you're only going to get it in this set. And one thing I gotta say I really like is how on the front it has the fox symbol that is also present on the Battlesuit. For some reason I just feel like that's just such a, a cool small detail that like some people may not even care to notice, but I just really appreciate that they did that. And of course, on the back, you can see some of the printing along with the uh, the secondary face, the, the kind of like grin that he has. 
All right, overall, I personally think that Aaron Battlesuit is a very good set. I mean, there, there really isn't too much uh, wrong with him besides maybe the fact that you would want like a villain or something that you would go up against. But for $10, it's a very just a fun set. It's a good gift for someone. It's a good just like set in general. I mean, sure, Peace Count isn't the best out of the battle suits, but I mean, you get a lot with this. And I feel that this set is actually probably one of the stronger battle suits. I feel like the weapons work out. And I feel that the value of this set is very, very strong. And I feel that is just actually the same with a lot of the battle suit sets. I feel that overall, they're all strong, but for some reason, this one I feel like it offers a little bit more since you've got the uh, whole surfing thing with the uh, shield, and of course you've got the uh, the crossbow, and I feel that works a lot better with the whole kind of swivel function here that you've got going on uh, compared to the other weapons like the swords and the axes and the, 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 the maces and stuff that you're getting. But in general, I gotta say, this set I would definitely recommend. A very solid set. I hope you guys enjoyed my review on Battlesuit Aaron, and until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.